my question is, do string players have longer left fingers? And before I began my experiment, I found out that our bones are made up of two little cells called osteoclasts and osteoblasts. And they work together to make sure that only like really strong one is left. And so with that, our bones can grow freely. And this picture demonstrates how your fingers, when string players are pressing down like that, pressing down the fingers, stress is being applied, so it's making them contract like that diagram. And when they're contracting, all the attachments around it, such as that, would have to expand when you let out your fingers again. So I figured that if that's true, maybe your longer left fingers, your left fingers are actually growing a little bit more in length by being pressed flat. So to figure that out, I took pictures of left fingers, um, string players, hands, and I measured them using the jet. I mean, set scale, and I knew that that was 2.54 centimeters, one inch. Once you have a scale set, they know that from here to here, whenever, wherever line you make it, is going to be one inch, or 2.54 centimeters. So, if I go here, and I draw a line from the end of this finger to the tip, and I go to analyze and measure, it's going to tell me how long that finger is. And it says 5.879, and it's in centimeters. So I knew that that finger was 5.879 centimeters long. I continue to do that for all the fingers on everybody's hands, and I graph them over here, and I ended up coming up with the conclusion that string players do have longer left fingers than right fingers because there was a difference between the left finger and right finger. But it wasn't by much, it wasn't even a centimeter, so that's why you probably can't tell if you were just to kind of look at them. And the only thing that I would say that I might want to retest would be probably put the measurements in a small unit, that way the measurements are more accurate.